So my name is Tracy Stones. Some people can know me as Honky Tonk. Uh, I guess I'm a music photo journalist and, and a cleaning lady. I'm an entrepreneur. Um, I'm an entrepreneur with a big heart and big ambitions. Uh, I came to New Bern in 2005 and pretty much fell in love with it enough to want to grow roots. Um, when I got here in 2005, there wasn't a huge music scene happening. When I came back in 2012, it was a lot more um, to offer for the younger people. Uh, it wasn't just a retirement community anymore. And I loved that because I felt like they were embracing families of our military as well as our elderly all together. And well, that's just what it's all about, I think, community. Um, so, in 2013, I started sharing on Facebook who was playing where. You know, you could tag people and so forth. And the response that that got, I was paying for a blog. And I was, like, not really doing anything with it. And, and that does cost money to have that service. And I said, boy, you know, the way they're sharing this on Facebook, I might as well just bring this over to my blog. And uh, so www.ncmz.live is the blog site and uh, that just connects people to music to know where to find it throughout the whole state and I want to see that grow throughout the whole nation actually but it started right here in Newburgh so that's pretty cool and I do concentrate on everything that's going on in the community here first and foremost and that's the most in-depth coverage because this is my hometown and I love it because it's embraced me. People have always opened their doors to me to give me work so that I could work for them and uh, my charity of choice is Promise Place. I'm um, an advocate for rape victims. I hate that that's been my life's work but that's what my life's work is. Um, and my message there is we have to stop not talking about rape and sexual assault. We have to face it head on. We have to open our hearts and our arms and start healing and stop the trauma. And uh, so that's why Promise Place is my charity of choice. I served on their board for several years and was president for a half year. It was too much for me, I couldn't, it's too much emotion. So I stepped down and put it in the hands of David McFadden, who I champion for taking that position for me and has done wonders for Promise Place. So, and I hope that work continues, you know, because, and, and I hope that we can all help them help others because it, it's, it blankets our community and it touches us in ways that we don't even know. When somebody is acting crazy towards us instead of judging them, hug them and ask them if there's anything you can do to help them because they're probably hurting or suffering from some sort of trauma.